What's up my financial friends, it's Sam and today I'm just going to talk to you about how I created about $900 in just a few hours and how about 700 of that is passive income every year um, and I want to walk through that. So how I did this was actually refinancing my student loans. So I had had my loans through a loan processor or a loan servicer that charged between the two loans that I had, um, they charged about 6 0.2% give or take um, and I had about $40,000 worth of student loans left with them so I started looking to refinancing options and at first when I got out of college I couldn't refinance because my income wasn't high enough and my loans were too the loan balance was too high so no one really wanted to refinance my loans but I've increased my income and I've decreased the loan amount so I looked at refinancing again about a year and a half from when I initially started looking at it. And uh, what I found was I could actually refinance my loans for almost a percent less than uh, what I was paying for right then. And for me, uh, it didn't really seem worth it. But then after I started digging into it a little bit more, I found out that there were actually some added benefits that I didn't really think of initially when I was just looking at the 1% that I could save on my loans. So when I looked at the 1%, it would save me about $200 or $300 a year. However, it would uh, put the loans in my name, which at the time I was thinking if I want to buy a property or if I want to do something else with my money or if I just didn't want to show as great a debt to income, um, then that would be derogatory towards that. Um, or just wouldn't be helpful towards that. So $300 didn't really seem worth it to put all the debt in my name. However, what I realized was if the debt's in my name, I can write it off on my taxes um, for student loan interest. And also I realized that there are bonuses for signing up with different uh, refinancing options or refinancing companies. So uh, I'll break down the numbers here, but um, I had $40,000 worth of student loans at about 6.2% interest. So um, I found out that once I refinanced them at about 5.44%, which it was lower, but then I couldn't uh, show some of my income because I've only been out for two years and I have a business too. So it was hard to show how much I made in those businesses because um, I haven't had enough time to show them on tax returns. Um, anyways. I found out that I could save about $300 from just uh, just refinancing my loans at that lower percentage. And then I also found out that there are bonuses. So I believe I got a $200 um, gift card sign up bonus through Credible. Um, and I think there are greater bonuses out there if you're refinancing more. Um, when I was looking, this was the best one that I could get. It actually showed $300 bonus. But then uh, I've had some issues with it, so they said that's $200, but it's still better than nothing. So um, there's another $200, and then I also found out that when I put them in my name, I can write them off on my taxes. There's a limit to how much you can do, but uh, the difference would be about $400, I believe, for me on my taxes, um, just being able to write it off in my name. So between those three different things, um, I can actually save myself about $900 every year, well, $900 the first year, then $700 every other year from being able to write it off my on my taxes and then the lower percentage. And I think I'm going to refinance my loans again in the future. Um, I, after I get a raise this year, I'll be able to show more taxable income from my day job and then from my side hustles and my um, business. So I'll be, probably be able to show about $5,000 more a year in income, and my balance will also be lower on my student loans. So I'm hoping I can lower my interest rate to maybe about 4.5%, um, and I want to do that before uh, I believe interest rates go back up um, and lock that in, and then I'll be able to save myself even more money. But I know this isn't a way to make more money. But it's a way to save more money, which actually is more significant in my mind um, than making more money because 
this is all untaxed. Um, you can't be taxed on spending less each year, um, but you can be taxed on making more. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to go through how I did this. Um, I would suggest using Credible.com. They view um, your information, how much you make each year, what you're trying to do, and then they look at different providers and servicers and compare them for you right on the page. So you get multiple different banks and uh, credit unions and stuff like that that are willing to refinance your loans. So it's a really good option. Make sure that you use a referral link from some website um, so that you get that bonus. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. But I think it's a great solution for lots of people to do, especially um, I know some people that have 12, 13% loans that are variable rate. So I would definitely refinance those. I was lucky that mine were only 6 um, to 7%, but uh, definitely worth refinancing still. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.